struggles are tied together, including the struggles of the Palestinians. And we wanted to read some really, some news updates just to keep us like aware of what's happening. I think a lot of people probably read the news, but here are some things that happened in the last 24 hours. In one of the latest attacks, dozens of Palestinians were struck and injured as Israeli warplanes struck the Al-Amal Hospital and the Palestinian Red Crescent's headquarters in Khan Yunus. Uh, in Gaza City, Doctors Without Borders reports 115 Palestinians brought to Al-Aqsa Hospital Thursday dead on arrival. Um, there is a very upsetting video going around of um, 100 Palestinian men at gunpoint, um, and maybe you've seen it, but I'm, I'm not going to repeat that one, but it's very upsetting uh, if you haven't heard about it. Um, in the occupied West Bank, the Palestinian Health Ministry reports at least six Palestinians killed and many others wounded in the Israeli raids overnight. Um, and then, very exci exciting for us and our country, <laughs> the United States on Friday vetoed a United Nations Security Council demand for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in the war between Israel and Palestine, Palestinian mil militant group Hamas in Gaza diplomatically isolating Washington as it shields its allies. Uh, so here's what the Deputy U.S. Ambassador Robert Wood told reporters. We just can't snap our fingers and the conflict stops. This is a very, very difficult situation, he said. So another piece of news, another piece of horribly tragic news is that we lost a poet and a uh, Palestinian poet and professor, Rafat al -Arir, and. Um, Leo is going to come up and read a little bit about him and his life and a poem that he wrote. Rafat al-Ariri, an Israeli airstrike in Gaza, has killed a prominent Palestinian academic and activist Rafat al-Ariri along with his brother, his sister, and her four children. He authored dozens of stories and poems about life under Israeli occupation. Rafat al-Ariri was a lifelong advocate for Gaza, his home. He helped found We Are Not Numbers, an organization dedicated to memorializing the victims of Israel's endless inhumane attacks on Gaza and contributed to Light in Gaza, Writing Born of Fire, a recent anthology. Israel bombed his sister's home, killing him, his brother, his sister, and her four children. Dr. Rafat taught, taught English literature at the Islamic University of Gaza. In the words of his former student, Jihad Abu Salim, for Rafat, English was a tool of liberation, a way to like, break free from Gaza's prolonged siege, a teleportation device that defied Israel's fences and the intellectual, academic, and cultural blockade of Gaza. When Rafat taught English to me and my friends, this is a quote from somebody, he made sure we read Malcolm X, or El Haj Malik El Shabazz, as he often reminded us to call him. He emphasized that learning a language requires understanding its culture and being critical and mindful that language is not free from questions of power and representation. I'm going to read a poem called If I Must Die by Rafat al -Ariri. Written on Yes. Written on November 1st, 2023. If I must die, you must live to tell my story to sell my things, to buy a piece of cloth and some strings, make it white with a long tail, so that a child somewhere in Gaza, while looking heaven in the eye, awaiting his dad be left in a blaze and bid no one farewell, not even to his flesh, not even to himself, sees the kite, my kite you made, flying up above, and thinks for a moment an angel is there, bringing back love. If I must die, let it bring hope. Let it be a tale. All right, we're gonna 
to do some blessings. So if you have would like to light uh, Hanukkah, you want to bring it over. We have spots for them. Oh. So if you'd like some grape juice, because it's Shabbat, we have a table with grape juice if you'd like to come and grab some. Come on. Grape juice. second night of Hanukkah, we have two different kinds of things to share. The first one is for the candle number two, Rabbis for Ceasefire has um, shared this uh, beautiful reading with us. Number two, the candle number two for the second night represents Pikuach Nefesh, protecting every life. Saving a life trumps all other Jewish laws. Pikuach Nefesh, the obligation to save lives, is about protecting lives now and in the future. We believe that we cannot bomb our way to safety. The only path to lasting peace is to stop the cycle of violence by stopping this war, addressing the underlying conditions that dehumanize Palestinians and that put both Palestinians and Israelis at risk. May we commit towards a world where every life is seen and treated as precious. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Um, there is also, with Joy Jewish Voice for Peace, you can see on the uh, menorah that there are there is a different demand um, for every night of Hanukkah, and for the second night, the demand is the right of return. It's backwards, but maybe you'll work with us. I'm going to read, um, <clears throat> in honor of tonight of the demand for the right of return, I'm going to read some words from Ahed Tamimi, who lives in the West Bank. She says, if there was no occupation and Palestine was a normal country, I would move to Acre and live by the sea and go swimming. I have only been once, even if the water is only 30 kilometers from my house. Some years ago during Ramadan, Israel gave us permission to visit Jerusalem. On that day, my dad took us kids to the sea. We were afraid, of course, because it was illegal. The permit we had only allowed us to stay in Jerusalem for a few hours but my father was determined, if we had the right of return. I want to be a regular 17-year-old. I like clothes, I like makeup. I get up in the morning, check my Instagram, have breakfast, and walk in the hills around the village. Sometimes I go to Ramallah with friends to go bowling, eat ice cream, go to restaurants, but I am not a normal teenager. Both my parents have been in jail, as have I, and now my eldest brother. Wayed was also imprisoned. If I were permitted to be a regular teenager living in a normal country, we had the right of return, I would play sports. I wanted to become a football player, but I don't play here because there is no time. Instead, I am involved in demonstrations and confrontations with the Israeli army since I was a child. Many criticize that, but why not criticize the army who places itself in front of children? 
Under the occupation, everything is a crime. People should not accuse us. It is the occupation that is wrong. The great return marches were launched from the time of the Nakba and continue until today. And the reality is that people of Gaza are still continuing these marches of return. We hope that everyone, even here in the West Bank and those outside, be part of the return marches, just like the one in Gaza. It is not just Gaza that has refugees, but there are Palestinian refugees everywhere, and they should return to their land and to their country. Yitbarach v'shabak v'tbar v'tramam v'tnase v'tadar v'talem v'tjalal shemere kudasha b'rechu le'ela min kol v'rachata v'shirata tush v'chata v'nechamata damiran v'alma v'ibru amen Yehesh lama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'ibru amen v'tzvei tevel v'ibru amen O say shalom v'mramav, huya say shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel v'imru. Amen. Amen. Lo yisa goy el goy cherev, lo yilmen duhu ahamil chama, lo yisa goy el goy cherev, lo Call and response. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Just walk beside me and be my friend. Just walk beside me and be my friend. Together we will walk in the way of Hashem. Together we will walk in the way of Hashem. Thanks, everyone. One more, one more together, um, which is to go in the dark. Um, and it's a Wendell Berry poem that was turned into a song. I don't know who did the music to it, but we'll also do this call and response. To go in the dark with the light is to know the light. To know the dark. Go dark, go without sight, and find that the dark to who blooms and sings, and is traveled by dark feet and dark wings. Thank you, Abby. Does anybody else have Hanukkah songs they want to sing? All right, well, please greet each other and check out the table, have more grape juice and kibbutz and schmooze and cry. <laughs> um, thanks for being here, everybody. Yeah.